Yo, Axial SCX 10 3 Base Camp Chevrolet Silverado Step Side. Is that not just flipping gorgeous? Is that not just a pretty freaking rig right there? That is one of the prettiest bodies I've seen in quite a long time. Really nothing bad that I can say about this truck. I've only got a couple little things that I've found that need addressing. Other than that, there's there's not a lot wrong with this thing at all. I've never ever seen a 10-3. I've never, had, or let me say, I've never had the opportunity to mess with a 10-3. The old, you know, the old first generation SCX 10s and the 10-2s mess with them a lot. This is the first time I've gotten my hands on one of these. And <laughs> I don't know what to say. This thing is just amazing. It's a beautiful truck. The detail on this body is phenomenal. This body was made for this truck by Proline. It has just phenomenal detail on it. As you can see, the windows on it are clear. They're tinted. The mirrors on this thing, look, I mean, they're, they're scale. They're cool, and they're, I believe they're, no, they're plastic. Uh, still, it's it's an awesome, it's an awesome addition to it. Uh, the only thing about it is that we'd have decals for the Silverado emblem, the door handles. Uh, the truck does use body clips. You get headlights, LEDs for the top portion of the headlights, uh, not for the bottom portion, and you do get parking lights down in the bumper. I'll turn those on shortly whenever we put a battery in it. Rear, you do not have, all you have is the, you have the buckets, four turn, four tail lights, but there's no option for LEDs or anything like that. You get this gargantuan bumper, uh, which is still all right. And you see on the back window there where it's got the Proline decal on it. So it's a legit Proline body. Nice, super nice truck. Let me take the body off, talk a little bit about it, as much as I can anyway. A 35 turn motor, we've got a Spectrum ESC, from what I'm reading online, it's basically a Hobby Wing that's been rebranded, not a big deal. The Hobby Wings, you know, 1060s, 1040s are great ESCs, uh, so this being a rebrand, uh, it's, it's got to be, it, it's got to be a decent ESC. Fully sealed receiver box, two different battery positions, uh, for back here for the long batteries, over here on the other side for a shorter pack. Not sure what to run in this. I guess we'll see whenever Dude Man lets me know what to put in it. A fully Metal Gear servo up here in the front. Nice, nice servo. The links underneath it, full metal, full metal links. Uh, wild bore uh, drive shafts. It's by standard on these axles anymore. The thing about it is we are uh, we have portal axles on this truck hope this thing will pick it up but this is a base camp with portals that is kind of neat aluminum body threaded oil filled shocks nice as a as a ready to run pan hard up here on the front is metal instead of plastic that's a really nice addition as well what can i say about this other than it's absolutely gorgeous and I, I just don't know what to say about it. Uh, the transmission, from what I'm reading, is not a typical actual three gear. This one has five gears in it. I'm not sure the, you know, not sure of the the bonuses of that or whatever. I'm still going to have to learn about this truck, obviously, uh, in order to help, you know, get it ready to go. But really, really nice freaking rig. The radio is a Spectrum SLT3, kind of a bare bones radio, but uh, hey, at least it comes with it. <laughs> Standard trims and all the settings on the back, throttle limit of 50%, 75%, or 100%. You have your throttle reverse, your steering reverse, and then the trims up here on the front side. But let me show you some things that I'm a little, that, that kind of bother me about this thing. And it's, it's nothing bad, it's something that you could fix at home. Great looking body, great looking body, but get it into a situation where it's like, like such, it gets into the body and that's an easy fix. It might not, it might not mess with a lot of people, but it, it would bother me a lot. So 
I could see where it needs to be radius a little bit with a pair of Lex and scissors. Other than that, <laughs> I don't know. I, I've got nothing bad to say about this truck at all. Um, no run video. I've got to get the go ahead to be able to run this thing. Obviously, it's just absolutely beautiful. I've just taken it for a loop around the driveway. Uh, no trail whatsoever, but look for something to come on this pretty soon. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous truck. My God, what a pretty thing. Um, I'm really not a step side guy, but man, they, they kind of, they kind of killed it on this one. That is a great looking truck. Axial SCX 10-3 base camp Chevrolet Silverado step side. More to come. Catch you guys later.